Hi, this is Richard Crack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is, what is a my movie? All right. I guess that uh, most of you would have heard about my movies, all right. But today, I'm going to talk about what is a my movie and how to create it. Okay. Now, before that, Repetition is the mother of learning. Do you agree with me on that? Repetition is the mother of learning. When we learn something, all right, it's true repetition. Okay? And also, when we master a skill, it is also true repetition. You need to remind yourself of your goals and dreams daily as well. You see, most of the time, you know, we, our mind is filled with a lot of thoughts, all right? And we do not focus on our desire and our dream. So it's the same thing like skill and learning as well. You've got to remind yourself of your goals and dreams on a daily basis. All right. Now, initially, you may not believe in what your dreams are or your goal. All right. You may not. But if you keep on repeating it over and over a period of time, you start to believe it. When you start to believe it, then you will start to manifest it into your life. As simple as that. So basically, it is through repetition and repetition and repetition. Okay? Now, how many of you here have seen advertisements? Or advertisements on uh, 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 television? Okay? On movies? Now, even TV series, they have, uh, uh, you know, product placement as well. Advertising their products. Okay? Now, there are a lot of advertisements outside there. But the truth is that, let me ask you, does it work? Now, this company spent millions and millions of dollars to advertise. It means that it works, all right? And I am one of the people who will attest to that. You know, I do get influenced by advertisement as well. All right, when you see something over and over a period of time, then you start to believe it and you start taking action, probably purchase the products or whatever it is. So, advertisement does work, all right? So, now, advertisement is something that is pushed to you. Okay, and you still believe it and you take action. All right, now, when you want to remind yourself of your goal, okay, it has to be on a regular basis so that you condition your mind to believe it. Okay, now, previously, you know, people use dream chart or vision board. Is it true? Vision board or dream chart, people use that. Now, what is a vision board or dream chart? It's very simple. It is just that, you know, they, they get pictures of their dreams, their goals, what they want to have, the picture of the house or the picture of the holidays, the picture of their cars and so on. And they paste it, you know, on a cardboard. All right. And after that, they paste it somewhere where they can see on a daily basis to remind them of what their goals and what their dreams and what their desires are. So that is a dream chart or a vision board. All right. Now, basically, you know, that was in the past. But today, with improved in technology, people are using my movies now. All right. People are using my movies instead of the dream charts or vision board. All right. Now, what is a my movie? It's very simple. A my movie is a movie of your goals and your dreams. All right. A movie of your goals and dreams whereby you know, you put everything in a movie and you watch it every single day. All right, that's a my movie. It is just like you watch uh, your, your vision board every day, but now you don't watch a, a, a vision board, but you might watch a movie. All right, a movie of your goal, of your dreams, and so on. Okay, it has the same effect, but the difference is that, you know, it is more effective than a dream chart or a vision board. Why is it more effective? Because when you look at a, a dream chart or a vision board, it is static. All right, it is static. But when you have a mind movie, it is dynamic with movements, with uh, music, and it is more emotional as well. Okay? So that is why uh, my movie is very effective. Now, let's talk about how to create a mind movie. Actually, the creation of a mind movie is not that difficult. All right? It will take you some effort to create it, but... It is not difficult. So let's let's have a look at it. Okay? You got to prepare slides. 
All right, you got to prepare slides of what are your goals and what are your dreams and and in terms of pictures and in terms of statement. Now you can prepare using PowerPoint slides. All right. Once you prepare in PowerPoint, what you need to do now is to convert the PowerPoint into JPEG. Okay, into picture. So basically, what you can do is that once you create your uh, your PowerPoint slide of your dreams and your goals, all right, uh, the cars, the houses, or whatever it is, then you convert the PowerPoint into JPEG. That's all. It's very simple, all right? I think it is easy enough, okay? You, you go to uh, 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 PowerPoint and then you convert it. That means you save it as JPEG, okay? Now, when you talk about pictures, it has to be the picture of your dream, okay? What you desire. It could be uh, the car of your dream, the house of your dream, the vacation of your dream, uh, the toys of your dream. The toy could be your, uh, it could be uh, you know, uh, your watch or whatever it is, all right? So basically, you are going to create it, all right, using PowerPoint. And it must be positive statement. If there is a statement there, then it must be a positive statement and in the present, all right? A statement may be, you know, uh, I am earning 300,000 ringgit a month, okay? That means you are in the present and as if you are already, you have already achieved it. That's why it is in the present, okay? You don't want to put it in, a, in, in the future. Like, you know, I will be earning 300,000 ringgit a month. No, it has to be in the present and you have already achieved it. And it must be positive as well, okay? So that is about the statement. Then after that, once you prepare the slide, then you got to select some music track, okay? It has to be exciting, exciting music track. Like for me, I personally use uh, 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 the, the the music from the Game of Thrones. You know, the Game game of Thrones, the, 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 the music, very exciting music, all right? So you can choose any music you like, all right? And basically, do you realize that, you know, uh, music is very important, all right? It is, uh, it, it will get you emotional. It will get you emotional, all right? Because why? Music is actually the soundtrack of your life, all right? It's the soundtrack of your life. So it's very important music, all right? Choose the music that will make you emotional, uh, that relates to you, okay? So after that, all right, you need to compile it into a video. Now, you got the slide, you got the music now, all right? You got to compile it into a video. And of course, compiling it into a video, you need to use video editing software. All right, there are a lot of software outside there. Uh, you can use video editing software. And the one that I'm using is called Camtasia from TechSmith. All right. And basically, that's all. All right. You got to compile it into a video. Now you got to slice, all right, uh, in JPEG. Now, uh, and the music, you got to put it into a, into the compiler, into the video editor. And then after that, save it in M MPEG or, you know, in MP4. All right. And basically, I would say that the recommended length of the my movie uh, could be two minutes plus. It could be two to ten minutes, depending on how many uh, 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 slides you have. All right. Of course, you know, uh, it got to be something that is exciting, interesting, that you really dream of, you desire to have it. Okay. So once you have the my movie, okay, what you need to do is that, you know, you got to view it. Okay. You got to view it at least two times a day, at least two times a day. Now, when do you view it? First thing in the morning when you wake, wake up and before you go to bed, those are the two periods whereby you are in the alpha state, all right? And it is a suggestive state, all right? So it's important uh, to realize that, you know, at least two times a day and, you know, in early in the morning when you wake up and also before you go to bed. All right, and another tip that I can give you to get you into the alpha or suggestive state, you can view the kaleidoscope. All right, you can make a search on the, uh, uh, YouTube, the kaleidoscope, when you view it, all right, before you watch the mind movie or you put in the front part of the mind movie, a kaleidoscope. Because when, when you watch the kaleidoscope, it will put you into a suggestive state. And once you watch the movie, then it will be better. All right, so... I think it's not difficult. That's all I want to share with you. I hope that you learned something here. 
All right, if you have not used a mind movie, I I think that is advisable to do a mind movie. All right, a dream chart, a dream wish, a dream vision board is good. But of course, if you want, uh, uh, you know, to to make it more uh, 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 effective, do a mind movie. All right, and of course, you can even get people to do it for you. You can go to uh, Fiverr, Fiverr.com, and search for you know uh, people there to do the mind movie for you. Okay, so let me summarize for you what is a mind movie. Okay, we learn by repetition. All right, whether it's skill or language or anything, we learn by repetition. And at the same time, you got to repeat to yourself what are your goals and your dream on a regular basis. Okay, now this is this is how you know you are affected by advertisement as well. So rather than you being affected by advertisement from outside. Now you are advertising to yourself. That means you are suggesting to yourself to become successful. Okay. And I said previously people use dream, uh, dream chart or vision board, but today, you know, uh, people are using my movie now. Okay. Now, uh, my movie is just very simple. It's a movie of your dreams and your goals and so on. Okay. It is more effective than a dream chart because it is dynamic with movements, with music. All right. And also, with emotions involved. How to create it? Well, you know, uh, I, I, I talk about, you know, creating the slide using PowerPoint and converting it into JPEG. All right, and the statement must be positive and in the present tense and you have already achieved it. All right, and the music must be exciting music that will get you emotional, okay? Uh, then after that, you need to use software to compile it into a video. The length can be 2 to 10 minutes or even longer. Like mine is 15 minutes. Actually, mine is 15 minutes including the kaleidoscope at the beginning and at the end. And, you know, uh, watch it two times a day, early in the morning when you wake up and also before you go to sleep. Okay, so that's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share and to comment. I appreciate you for your time that you spend with me here. All right. So I will see you again on Friday for another session of my live video. So this is Richard Quack wishing you good night and goodbye.